Hello everyone, Richard Hunley here along with David McKeever with Advance One McKeever Real Estate here for our monthly market update. We're going to be talking about the update for February 2019. These are the most recent trends or the leading indicators that give us an idea of where the market's headed. And we're talking, these, these trends are for the city of Stockton. Uh, first off, you can see uh, this light green bar here. These are the amount of new listings that came out in, uh, last month in February. There are 502 new listings. And that, as you can see, is a decrease from uh, the previous two months, which were at 562 new listings. Uh, but the key indicator here that's uh, jumping out at me that I can see are the pending sales. And the pending sales is this red line that kind of tags along the bottom. And as you can see, it jumped up to 299 pending sales in February last month. That's a quite a significant increase from the previous month, which is at 216. And I think that just shows the, the level of activity that jumped up last month in February. Although, you know, the total sales were down, it's the green bar, the dark green bar here. It was at 162 sold homes. Geez, looking across the entire chart, it's probably the lowest we've had in a long, long time. But with these pending sales up at 299, I really anticipate this month or March to be much, much higher, um, which is a good indicator that we're in a really active market right now. Sure. Yes. Yeah. It looks like headed toward a healthy market. Yeah. So Richard, what do we have next? As you can see on our new graph here, this is the months of inventory that has dropped quite a bit based on the chart from before that had the pendings going up and the listings going down. We've dropped from 2.6 months of inventory all the way down to 1.7 in one month. Mm -hmm. So a little more indication as we're headed toward a good, healthy market. Okay, our last chart of the day is the ratio from list price to sell price. And last month we had a 96% list price to sell price, which means, you know, if somebody was going to list their house at 100,000, the home's going to sell for on average $96,000. So that's a slight increase from January of last month. So it's that's still a really good ratio for those homeowners who are looking to put their home on the market and get it sold. One last statistic for this chart, and it's our days on market. Days on market, as you can see, are going up. I think that's a little misleading. I think that's uh, more from the holidays and also that influx of listings we've had over the past two or three months that have some, a small percentage that are overpriced that maybe drive the days on the market up. So I think you might see that start to level out and start to go back down. Mm -hmm. And it's looking like we're headed with some of the charts kind of where we're meeting that um, maybe spring has sprung. That's right. Yeah, I think uh, last year at this point in time, uh, after February, we had that same trend where March, April, May, and June, uh, the days on market, the amount of time it took to sold the house, those it all declined in those spring and, and summer months. So I think, I think history is going to repeat itself here. Uh, we've gone up a little high. I think as uh, we head into spring, it's gonna, it's gonna start dropping again. Yep. Yep, for sure. Sellers, price your house right, it'll sell fast. Mm -hmm. And don't forget agents, hold those houses open. Uh, I've been hearing that the open houses are really starting to work well. That's right. And if you're having any interest in uh, exploring what your home is worth in today's market, had any thoughts of selling in the next three to nine months, uh, you can reach out to us, uh, Richard or I, our numbers are down below. Uh, we'll be happy to give you an estimate of your, the value of their home and maybe some simple tips of things you can do to improve that value. Yes. So we'll see you again next month for our monthly market update. Thank you. Mm -hmm.